Hello YouTube, my name is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to the Casual Warhammer League. And we are on fixture two of Ana Garcia versus Athelstone. Now Athelstone is the home player in this battle, and he's selected a very interesting map. He's got Varg Camp here, full of mountains and snow and heavy tree lines. Interesting battlefield here, I like this battlefield a lot. Let us start off with his army, he is now playing as the Empire. So he's made a change, he's not going with the Dwarves which he won as last time, he's going with the Empire. On his right flank, I like what he's done here, he's got two units of Demogriffs, Shock Cavalry, and they also have Experience. Uh, I think that's level 7 for both of them, hidden in the tree line here, so interesting what he's doing there. On his front line, he's got a three-wall front line of, I think it's all Halberdiers. Oh, nine, look at that, rank 9 Halberdiers, holy moly, on that line there. He's got Crossbowmen on either side there with Great Swords, again level 9 Great Swords in the centre. And he has a Mortar Crew behind them. He has a General of the Empire, which is a flying monster at the back by here. And then he also has a Light Wizard, which is also in the sky on the left flank there. I do feel he's quite uh, outnumbered here. Let's just check before we go on. Yeah, 834 against 1,527. It's going to be an uphill task, although he does have quite a lot of elite troops here, which could do quite a lot of damage. Plus, he's got that tree line in the demigriff position, which could be very, very useful. We move over to Anna Garcia's uh, selection now. So she has Savage Orc, Bo Savage Orc Big Guns with more Savage Orc Big Guns and more and more. And I think, yeah, she's got five Savage Orc Big Guns in, on her right flank in the front line there. She has one, two, three, four Savage Orcs in the center there. On the left flank, she has Rob Ro Goblin Rock Lobber, which is quite useful in the previous battle with Savage Orc Bow Boys behind. She has Grimgo Ironhide again with a Goblin Archer and another Goblin Archer unit. Plus she's got more Savage Orc Bow Boys at the back. Then sort of on the right hand side but behind she's got a Goblin Orc Shaman again. She's got a Giant this time which is going to be interesting to see how the Giant is used. She's also got another Goblin Archer unit and finally another Orc Bow Boy Big Guns. Or so sorry, a Savage Orc Bow Boys unit there. So let's hit the play button and see how things unfold. So it's a 9 minute battle, so interesting length. I think a 10 minute battle is quite good. It doesn't make it seem arcade, and obviously it's, with it being against a human player, online multiplayer, it's going to be more interesting than just standard campaign battle. So it's a very nice battlefield indeed. Let's actually have a look at the tactical map. Lots of mountains, as you can see on the map right now. She has a very wide formation. Just look at how much her formation stretches compared to his which is quite similar to the first battle, actually. Her first line of greenskins in the first battle was very large, and his dwarven army was quite similar to the way he set up this, when we had some troops at the back and then a small line at the front. I think she's coming uphill. It looks like she's got an incline to come up here if she does attack him up there. I do like what he's done with his demigriff. Sure, they're very, very good elite troops. They could definitely route off a few of those greenskin units if used effectively here in that tree line, which is quite interesting to see. So it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens. Let's go back to the real-time map here but a minute's gone already nothing's actually happened yet no kills or anything it would be lovely to see if they both advance up to here i would love to have seen a little battle here but i think yeah let's have a look she is actually going to take the first move will he commit or will he stay that is the question she's coming up anna's coming up with her troops savage orcs she has four of them that's going to lead the line savage orcs don't actually have that much armor let's actually get the head on um yeah they have no armor at all actually so that could be quite dangerous if you've got no armor troops, especially if they go up against the halberdiers, which have, you know, very good armor piercing stats. So that could be a mismatch there if used efficiently. She's pushing up with Savage Orc Bow Boys on the left flank here. So it'll be interesting to see what she does. She's also pushing up hard on the right flank with all of her Savage Orc Big Guns. She's kept them as a group by the looks of things. Um, so she's definitely going to try and stretch and outflank, which is quite easy for her to do because she has the numbers to do it. Is that giant moving? And what is going on here? He is moving slowly. So she's going to bring the giant up. It's probably going to take him a while to get up to there because he is uh, very slow at moving indeed. Interesting to see what happens on her left flank here. Athelstone has two demigriff knights hidden here. Will they be sprung? They could be sprung here. He hasn't really moved his troops at the moment, just kept them still. Hasn't committed, he's going to wait to see what she does first, maybe he'll pick them off. Balance of power is actually slightly in Anna's favour this time, obviously that's the troop numbers. 
going to keep the head on for this match as well, just to sort of see what the kills go like throughout the battle. Light Wizard being committed to, and also on the right flank, we've got the, oh, we've got the Mortar, Athelstone's Mortar, getting some early hits on the Savage Orc Boar Boys. They're going to run right into those Demigriffs here. Athelstone could make a very good start here, if used correctly. They've been discovered, they've been revealed, so he's going to commit them. He is going to commit them. Demigriffs being committed. Charging, let's try and zoom into this. If I can get some zoom in action for you guys. So the four boys running away, and there come the Demigriffs out of the tree line. That looked pretty epic, to be honest. They remind me of Lord of the Rings a little bit. Demigriffs flying into them here. Crashing into blood, look at the blood just flying around the place. Death and destruction everywhere, and those Demigriffs are going to munch those up completely. Let us check a look. And even one of them's gone already. Attacked in the rear. They've gone. They've had enough. Down to 37. And you just think the Savage Orc boy boys sure going to get killed as well. And now the main lines are advancing. The Savage Orcs are getting taken out already. Only 104 left. They were wavering. I think they are still wavering. They're shaking anyway. Will the numbers game prevail? Halberdiers going to the Savage Orcs. Good strategy there. They should do quite well. Also the Halberdiers got Stand Your Ground being used. Which is going to give a little bit of a buff. But there. Uh, Demogriffs. Yep, Demogriffs did quite well against the Orc Boar Boys there. He's actually attacking her giant right now. Giant taking fire from the Mortar crew. What's going on here? We've got a Halberdier unit which has got plus 36 armor defense and armor of fast protection being used right now. Little buff. The Savage Orc is losing decisively. Look at the amount of Savage Orc big guns on this right flank of Anna's though. The generals have to come in to try and help out. Great swords are fighting combat even right now, although the halberdiers are losing decisively. And the orcs are winning slightly there. Combat's even. Could go either way at the moment. Halberdiers doing a very good job against the savage orcs. Losing decisively now, though, the savage orcs. And now the demographics have been moved. They've come from the one flank into the other. They're going to try and help out on this side here. Don't forget, though, we have a giant on his way somewhere. Where is he to? Where is he to? Grimgo Ironhide's going to actually make his way in now. Anna's general is getting in near to the battle. The, uh, the giant. Where is he? I can't even see the giant. Oh, there he is. The giant's coming into the battle. Now, that could swing things tremendously. Giant coming to the battlefield. There he goes. He's just crushing the Demogriffs. Demogriffs are losing to the giant here. Not a good matchup by any means. And they are losing. That's not going to be good for them. At the moment, big massive cluster. Let's have a check the formations quickly. So, <laughs> just saw the Goblin Shaman just sort of attack there. Some of Anna's troops are routing. Obviously, numbers advantage might play a big part here. Uh, still over a thousand against six hundred. So maybe Anna can wear them down. Who knows? We have uh, the general here just flown away from that melee skirmish, but there. Got melee battle, not a, not a skirmish really. Unit winning, so they are winning, losing decisively some of these though, and this one's winning. So it's quite mixed with the green skins in this melee battle. Lots of artillery being fired now. Rock lobbers into full effect, firing on the great swords from back there. We've got uh, mortars being used on the goblin shaman. Demogriff knights actually routed most of the goblin archers here. Doing a very good job. Both get Demogriff knights being used effectively over there. And this could still go either way at the moment as things stand. Halberdier is routing though. We do have a lot of infantry still to be used from Anna though, so that could change. And the general is actually losing decisively, so if she needs to get that general... Well, sorry, Athelstone needs to get that general out of there. Although Demogriffs are going to help out. They're charging into the back of the Savage Orc big guns. And they've actually done a very good job here. Because they are terrified, and that might just have saved the general of the empire here. <laughs> we have the um, Grimgo Ironhide, who is winning slightly against Crossbowmen and Halberdiers. we also got the Giant to come in as well. He's been weakened tremendously, but he could still do a lot of damage, which he is doing right now. The empire pulling troops up there to try and help out. Those Goblin Archers have actually come back as well. we still got the Rock Lobber still attacking her troops as well. Or still attacking his troops as well. Male, female, male, female. I will get there eventually, folks. <laughs> too many troops on the battlefield. Too much fun. Too much chaos. We all like chaos, don't we, guys? Savage Orc begins losing decisively here. Uh, we got the Great Swords. 93. They've actually killed 76 in this battle. I just feel like if a bit more binding here could actually help the Empire. I feel like they haven't finished them off here. 
This flank's actually doing pretty well for the green skins, though. They've actually routed this uh, great sword unit. And they are terrified. I would be terrified if a big giant was smashing this club towards me as well. Most of the Empire troops are actually routed now. Anna's taken the lead, as you can see. Empire losing troops much quicker than what the green skins are losing. We do still have the mortar crew by here. Lost their weaponry. We've got a unit of crossbowmen up on the mountain by here. We're into the last minute of the battlefield, folks. And I think it's going to be a green skin win and it's going to be one all in the head-to-head -head between these two. Goblin Shaman just firing using some magical spells on the crossbow when they are taking damage as you can see. I think the numbers game is what's won this in the end even though the Empire had very good troop composition as far as elite troops. I loved what happened with the Demogriffs. I thought the charge out where they hidden, keeping them hidden. They had a very good effect on this battlefield. I'm, I'm probably guessing they're gonna have the most kills out of anybody in the Empire but we'll see at the end of this battle but it looks like that's gonna be the end of the battlefield here, of the battle, on the battlefield rather. Get my English out eventually. And yeah, that's going to be it. They're all going to start dropping now. They are withdrawing, and that is the end. And the Greenskins have won a valiant defeat in the end for the Empire. So let's just check. So Athelstone brought 874. He lost 589, and he has 285 remaining. Anna, on the other hand, has 1,567. She lost 915, and she has 652 remaining. Now, we have the General, which had only had 19 kills, which is not very good. The Light Wizard had 37. Compare that with Anna, who had Grimgo with 61, and the Night Goblin Shaman, who had 24 kills. We've now got uh, a Rank 5 Halvadir with 52 kills, a Rank 3 with 68, and a Rank 9 with 74. So it did pretty, pretty good. On the other side, we've got Savage Orcs, 35 kills, 39, 32. We've got a rank 9, or two rank 9 great swords, 125 kills. That was a fantastic uh, performance from this great sword unit by here. The other one had a hundred and, uh, sorry, the other one had 28 kills. Not so good with that rank 9. Probably could have used the money for that rank in that unit better off. Maybe have a few more units, additional units instead. Uh, crossbowman rank 2s, 29 and 65 kills. And then Demogriffs, as I expected, 153 kills, rank 7, and 186 kills, rank 7. They were the showpiece uh, um, of this army, basically, in this battle. I loved watching what he did with the Demogriffs Knights in this battle. And we've got a mortar crew there with 46 uh, kills as well. Meanwhile, over Anna's side of the battlefield, or, or of the uh, of the page, of the page, um, she had 21 kills for the Savage Orp against. These two units were a complete waste of time. Goblin Archers, no kills for either. This one had five kills, which is a little bit better, of course. The Savage Orc Boar Boys had 38 kills, had four kills and 12 kills, but the Giant had 71, and the Goblin Rock Lobber had 70. So, fantastic performance. I feel like the kills were spread all the way around on hers, um, on her kind of... Uh, army composition whereas it was more centralized towards the demogriffs the great sword and the halberdiers on this side anyway guys i've been dragon Heart, the prince of wales thank you for watching until next time goodbye